Hello everyone, myself Bharadwaz. In this video, we will discuss about return to on delay timer block. Okay, open your PLC software on the left side, scroll down under timer category, select return to on delay block and click here. If you see, there are two inputs and one output. The first one is trigger input, second one is reset input and one digital output. So first we will take two inputs. I will use I3 comment as input okay and for second one i will take i4 you can take any input there is no issue reset now i will connect this to the block adjust these lines now take one output comment output okay For the block also return to on delay timer. Okay. Now open your PLC hardware and download the logic. If you don't have the hardware with you, then do the simulation. You can test your logic in the simulation. Also, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and share with your friends. Thank you. Now I will go to online. You can also follow our social network channels so that you will receive the updates immediately. Okay. So this is return to on delay timer. What this will do is, this is a simple on delay timer with some changes. Whenever there is a change in the input from 0 to 1, low to high state, then the timer will be started. After completing the time, the output will be on. Okay. The output will be off only when the reset is given. Otherwise, it will be on, irrespective of the input state. In this case, the input is simple, pulse is required, pulse will be enough, continuous signal is not required. Even if you give a continuous signal also, there is no need. Now we will test the logic. I will, first we will give the timing, go to properties, we have to enter the time. I will take 7 seconds. Okay, so I will turn on the input in the hardware. See, input is on, timer started. After 7 seconds, the output is on. Now I will turn off the input. Still, the output is on. The output will be off only when the reset input is given. That means I4. 
I will turn on the I4. The output is off. Now I will give pulse input. I will turn on the input I3 and immediately I will turn it off. See, I just given single pulse. The timer is started and output is on. So, in return to on delay timer, the input is a pulse type. Pulse will be enough. And the output will be reset only when the reset input is given. So, this is all about return to on delay timer. Previously, we also discussed about simple on delay timer. Share with us through the comment section what is the difference between on delay timer and return to on delay timer blocks. Both are on delay timers, on will be delayed, but some changes are there in the functionality. If you remember both the blocks, share with us those differences. And what do you think about the uh, usability or more application for which block have more application? On delay timer or return to on delay timer? Which one is more useful? If you have any idea about those things, share with us through the comments section. Thank you. I will meet you in the next session.